it was a, uh, a new game or maybe, you know, you guys are, somebody's involved in a scandal and basically they're being interviewed and they have to try to cover something up, whether it's like the oil spill that BK had, or pardon me, that uh, BP had, you know, maybe the Bur Burger King horse meat fiasco, Bill Clinton's sex scandal, you know, whatever it is. So what, do, what, what, do you, what does everybody think? Do they like to play some game like that? Or basically you're the one who's on the hot seat and you're trying to cover up something? Here, let me show you. Okay. Yeah, so here's one right here. Okay, so Burger King, what they did is they sold, <laughs> or uh, not, not they didn't sell, but they ended up having uh, horse meat put into their hamburgers. You know, <laughs> the thing is they tried to cover it up. Okay, that was that was the bad part. All right. Also, too, you have the uh, the BP oil <laughs> spill in the Gulf. Okay, and they tried covering this thing up too. You know, basically they were just being cheap, and um, they weren't handling the uh, they weren't handling the maintenance properly. Okay. Jose, Mustafa, Jane. Okay. All right. Take that as a uh -huh. yes. Okay. Jane, are you going to be a prosecutor? Diana, you want me to teach your bro to say hello? <laughs> hey, teach my bro to say hello. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that figurative or something? So, hey, hey, though, um, Diana, you do have, I think, a second Colingo window open. What happens is when you start your Colingo class, sometimes you'll have the old window open. Plus, you probably want to put on a headset or something, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Right. Not at all. Not at all. It doesn't make sense at all. Okay. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Louisa. <laughs> yes, so, so Diana. Diana, where are you from? Can you repeat that, please? Yeah, where where are you from, Diana? From Bogota. Bogota. Okay, good. So, um, so Diana, what you should do is make sure that you only have it. So, it sounds like it's fixed now. You want to make sure you're in an, an environment that's nice and uh, quiet, and try to get like a headset or something on just to make sure there's no extra echo. But it sounds like everything's okay now. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So just make sure everything's calm, cool, and quiet. Okay. So good. Hello, Louisa. Hi, PJ. How are you? I am doing well. How about you, Louisa? And good, PJ. Okay. Good. good. You ready? You ready to play some games? Uh, yeah. I don't know what is the game. Okay. <laughs> well, we don't know either, but um, we're gonna find out. Okay. Okay. So no problem. Okay. So here we go. So uh, so yeah. Let's see here. So, what do you guys want to play? There's there's two different games we can play. We call the deal. All right. Actually, let's just try this new one. Okay. So all that this is, this is this simple. Okay. So what's going to happen is you have to pick a scandal that you're involved in. Okay. Whether it's maybe like right now the hot topic is the BK horse meat fiasco, which I think we'll start off with. Okay. Uh, and what's going to happen is you have to defend yourself when you have somebody who's asking you questions. How did this happen? Why did this happen? What was the case? I'll um I'll help you guys to start off. Hey Mustafa. Hey. Hi. Are you going to defend yourself? <laughs> about mm -hmm. meat horses? <laughs> yeah, about the, about the horse meat. Because uh, what happened is you are actually the BK spokesman. <laughs> has to deal with this, okay? All right? Okay. Okay, you sure? So, so folks, this is how it goes, okay? Um, hello, Mustafa. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. And, no, no, I'm not the teacher. I'm the prosecutor, okay? So, okay. Uh, so, so Mustafa, um, uh, what's your name and who do you work for? Mm, my name is the King of the Horse. <laughs> Okay, and is, is it true that you work for the quality control for food for Burger King? No, no, I um, don't work 
No, that's what you're here for, though. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, so let me ask you something, uh, Mr. Mustafa. So, Mustafa, did you realize that um, you were serving horse meat burgers to your patrons of Burger King? Oh, me? <laughs> that's not real. No, no, I don't serve any horse meat. Um, we'll talk to some. Uh, um, to some judge or law to stop. Uh, yeah, my but this, 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 this is yeah, this is the courtroom, Mustafa. So, um, so we did some DNA testing on your burgers. We found out that Burger King was serving eighty percent horse meat, twenty percent um, uh, oh, beef. Meat? No, no, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not my meat. Maybe. Uh, from Furkan Farm, not from my farm. No, no. Yeah, but but Furkan's not here. So any anyway, folks. We, so, <laughs> so you uh you choose the scandal that you're going to defend yourself against, okay? And then I'll choose the prosecutor. Uh, Jose, <laughs> hello, Jose. Yeah, sorry, I was mixed. Hello. It's okay, no problem, Jose. Is there a is there a scandal that's going on in your country? Or a famous scandal that you know about that you would like uh, to defend yourself? Uh, maybe recently uh, was we had a, a president here that he he had a daughter and he he recognized his daughter when she was fourteen maybe fourteen he did sixteen recognize or recognize her, his daughter. Oh yeah, but we don't we don't want something like that. Do you, he did what to his daughter? Recognize or sign his daughter, or accept that she was her his daughter. Oh oh okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so so he had an illegitimate child. All right. And what's what's your president's name? Uh, Toledo. It's Toledo. But did he finally fess up to it? Could you repeat, please? Uh, yeah, sorry, I shouldn't use fess up. Did he finally, um, so he finally accepted that this was the truth? Yes, yes, but but it was after the the news it took uh, talk about a lot of this this issue. Okay, so and uh, I'm sorry, how do you spell his name? Toledo. Oh, okay, you, you typed it in there, right? Okay. Okay, um, uh, let's see, no, it's not coming up, any, um, let me see in here, okay, and let's see, what else should I do in the search here, Toledo, daughter, uh, President Toledo, right, yes. is he the president? Yes, Alejandro Toledo. Um. Hmm. Nope. Still no. not coming up. Alejandro Toledo, President. Toledo. Okay. Wow. <laughs> well, no, oh, not much. Know. Not much for it. Yeah. Uh, let me help you. <laughs> maybe. Well, so so it's okay. I don't think we need to get. Yeah. You live in Peru. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. Don't worry, my spelling's off too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so as far as with his daughter, right? Hmm. Only made news there. Okay, it's all right. So we can we can go with it. So, what are some of the basics of it, Jose? Well, he uh, he had a daughter that he never accepted, 
it's, he always said that she wasn't his daughter, but when he feels he feels uh, some kind of pressure of the of the news of the television newspaper, he had to accept it, and he never accept to to do an e ADN test. DNA DNA test. No, no he never accepted that. Okay. He recognized okay. her, his daughter, but he never made that, that test. Okay. Uh, a frame. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on. Anything well, else? Well, somebody says that he, somebody says that he never he never accepted that that test because uh, he he used or he drinks a lot and maybe smokes something that is not allowed and maybe mm -hmm. that can be shown in an ADN test. Like, a, like some sweet Mary Jane? Yeah, something like that. Okay, all right, good. It's good. So, well, no, not good that he's doing that, but... Um, <laughs> okay, so, uh, Efrain. Hello, Efrain. Yes, sir, I'm here. Yeah. Do you think you can be a prosecutor, similar to, like, what I was with Mustafa? Um... Just yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. You might be on mute, Jane. Hello, Jane Castro. Okay. One second. All right. <laughs> oh, so Diana. So Diana, you're brave. So Diana, do you think you could be the you think you could be a lawyer, Diana? Is that what can, you're saying? Hi, can you hear me now? Yep. Yep, okay. Oh, okay. So actually actually Jane's here. So okay. So Jose, you're the president. All right, you okay. haven't admitted it yet, okay? okay? Jane, you're his defense attorney and Efrain, you're the you're the uh, prosecutor, okay? So Efrain, you're going to have to beat it out of these two that okay. that is in fact his daughter. All right, and you have some of the background. He won't take a DNA test, okay? Um, what what else is some more? Well, anyway, you guys just make it up as you go along, okay? Uh, go ahead, Efrain. Richard, could you repeat once again, please? Yep. So what happened is is Jose here is um, President. Uh, what's his name? Of here? Peru. President Alejandro Toledo of Toledo. Peru. Toledo. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he has a illegitimate daughter that he won't admit. Okay. Okay. So he's a daughter on the side, and Jane is his defense attorney. Okay. You're the prosecutor, and you're going to question Jose. And also, too, when there's times where the questioning's too difficult, Jane's going to try to interrupt some of the questions. Okay. Okay. All right. And at the end of it, class, you're going to vote to see if you would prosecute Toledo or if you would let him go. All right, so everybody listening. Okay, okay go ahead, Efrain. Okay, Mr. Toledo. Um, did you know that there was there is a woman who said that she had the child like 14 years ago and that child is your child? Um, yeah, actually she says that uh, to another people as well, not only with me. Okay, but do you know this person? Do you know this woman? Yeah, I I know her uh, uh, very years ago when I was working in the north of Peru. Okay, do time. you okay? Do you remember to have sex relationship with her with protection, use him a condom or something like that? I call for the fifth amendment. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Uh, where is my lawyer? Please? Excuse me, sir. Be clear, be clear, sir, because I do not understand you. You need to be really clear you because told, I do not understand me. you. Mr. President, you told me that you don't remember of this woman. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's Diana, right. Um, please. Mr. Toledo, please um, ask my question. Please answer my question. I just my, ask my, you did you use protection when you had relationships with this woman? My I never admitted ne that. Never seen. He never. I beg your pardon. Had seen 
the I never woman. admitted that I had sex with that girl, with that woman. Okay, you said you have never had sex with her, so you said she's a liar and she's lying. That's what you're saying, No, right? I'm saying that I never admit that I had sex with that so woman. So she's lying. If you said she's, she ha she never had sex with her, you are admitting she's a liar and she's saying lies because she said that she has a woman. I don't, th I don't think the Holy Spirit just came and just made this little girl in his bomb. That's impossible. Mm. Okay, because she's not the Virgin Mary, I guess. So, um, <laughs> so if you said that you never had a relationship with her, it means that she's a liar. Is that right? No, that's what are you saying. Mr. Toledo. No. no, you're telling me that you never had sex with her. Oh, well, uh, maybe I could have. Uh, maybe I, I didn't. I don't remember. It was too many years ago. So you admit that it is the possibility that you had relationship with her, right? Uh, do you want me to admit something that I don't remember? No, you no, no, no. No, you, you said told me that. that you maybe because you don't remember right now, but you said you maybe you had some sex with her. Okay, is that right? I think that you're a little confused. Uh, I said that. No, I, I'm not confused at all. You, I'm just repeating what you're saying, sir. I'm sorry, but I'm not confused at all. No, well, you, you're trying to induce my client to, to say something that never happened. Yes. No, you I'm, told I'm, me that's... that such a, he never no. met such a, such a woman. Okay, me, the situation uh, never me, uh, happened. Okay, could you tell me something, please? So you are saying that your client said that he doesn't know this person next to you, that his uh, maybe was, I don't know, a summer lover or something like that. So you are admitting that he did not have any relationship with her, okay? Is that right? Yeah, you said right. Okay, so you agree that this person or this poor lady that he's saying that he has, she had some kind of relationship with Mr. Toledo, is a liar, is that right? Not, not necessarily a liar, maybe so, she, was, she was a little drunk and she had some dreams or she dated another man, something like that. Okay, I will be back to you in a minute please, Mr. Toledo. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But, this is great. Afraid you're a monster, man. You're, you're, <laughs> you never had a summer lover. Animal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so hey, folks, we 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 we've seen enough. So, so Paula, is this guy guilty or what? Oh man. You know. Uh, yes, for sure. Yep. Okay, Mustafa, yeah. guilty, guilty or not. <laughs> Mm. Mustafa, yes or no? <laughs> Is he guilty or not? Come on. Uh, mm, maybe. Um, no. Oh my no, God, maybe. Mustafa! Maybe. There's no, no maybe. It's yes no. <laughs> okay, I think yes. <laughs> okay. Um, Mu, Mu uh, Suif. Is this guy guilty or not? Yes, uh, teacher. <laughs> I'm listening to you. Okay. okay. So, Diana, guilty or not guilty? Diana is guilty. Yeah, but Diana is Diana is guilty, teacher. How can, how can, how can, <laughs> Diana, <laughs> Diana wasn't even participating. <laughs> is that guilt by association? <laughs> no, Diana. Diana can't be uh, guilty. So, Diana, do you think he's guilty? Hey, no. No, you don't. No. You don't think he's guilty. She's the only one, right? I don't know okay. Anything about this country. You what? I don't know anything about this country. Oh, well, she said no. That's okay. <laughs> she didn't she understand. No. Yep. So, I'm just uh, from Colombia, uh, just Colombia, okay? Okay, the whole world surrounded. <laughs> there's only Colombia. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. So we can only talk about Colombia, is that right? Diana, Diana, I'm really sorry, but I'm from Colombia as well. I know everything about the world. <laughs> I just joke. <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so I'm, I'm just, Joe. I'm sorry if you can't join the live hangouts because you're 14. Um, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, yeah, <laughs> we've got PG18. Um, okay, uh, let's see here. All right, so wow, Efrain, that was crazy. Um, that was great. <laughs> so, uh, Thank you. so let's see. Yeah, you're welcome. Hello, uh, Paul. What are What are you going to defend against, Paul? Uh, I don't know, whatever. How about how about you be uh you be Samsung, okay? All right. Okay. And uh Mustafa, you're you're Apple, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. And let's see and this Paul's this Samsung? Top. Yeah, Paul Samsung, okay? okay? And then um Diana. Okay. Hello Diana. I'm here. Yeah, do, do you know anything about the the phones, Samsung and Apple? Do you know anything about the patent suits that they're having? Uh, Hello? That's okay. That's okay. That's me. It's better than Microsoft. I love apples. You love apples? It's better than Microsoft. Um, okay. Yeah, hey, okay. One, one, yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, since since Efrain did such a good job, I'm gonna let him just do one more. I promise I'll get you involved though. So Efrain, hey Efrain, yes, yes, teacher. Do you mind uh, Do you mind being the judge in the middle of this patent suit? So I think uh, I think you know about this, right? You know, so yeah, sure, and, yeah. Um, yeah, he's and, a tough uh, guy. And Apple, okay, all right. So they have this whole. You know how they have these um, these uh, different um, issues going back and forth between each other. So Paul, okay, he's the main attorney for um, Samsung, okay, and Mustafa is the main attorney for Apple. And Apple's going after Samsung, saying that they've copied all these different things on the phones. All right, do you guys? I don't think any of you guys need more of a background than that, do you? You understand all of this, right, Efrain? Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so uh, so you're Judge Efrain, okay? So go ahead, get things started. You decide who gets to uh, who gets to uh, join in first and plead their case. Go ahead, Efrain. Um, okay, Mr. Thompson, are you ready to defend yourself? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so you're saying that this last um, prototype of mobile is was created by Samsung, is that right? Of course. Okay, so what proof do you have to support this statement? Look at this, uh, look at these drawings. It's, uh, the, it's our idea basically, so we've been creating it for two years. It's, uh, it's our design, so 100%. We didn't copy any Apple product because they are ridiculous. So look at these drawings and you'll see. Yeah. Hey, Brett. Uh, okay, but you know that Apple, do you know, have you studied Apple's background before? Is that right? I'm sorry, Your Honor, could you please repeat? Yeah, have you been maybe checking out? Apple's background, how it moves in this technology world. Uh, you know, in our in our market, we have the same technologies because we are not from the another dimension. We all live in this market. We all work in this market. So maybe we have the similar technologies. It's okay because well, uh, many car manufacturers has the same technologies. And they don't say, guys, you use the same round wheels as we. So, you, Apple has been always um, innovating. As you know, as you know, Apple around the world, we know they have been innovating every single, I don't know, device that we have right now. Samsung hasn't, well, as far as I know, have Samsung has not done the same. So, do you have to prove, or so how, do you, can you prove that Samsung has innovated in the last few years? 
I'm sorry, uh, you say that Samsung is not as innovative as Apple, or we as not, or we not innovative at all. No, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, and, and, and Efrain, Efrain, one one quick moment. Make sure you give Mustafa some time to present. Yeah, so that's his right. Yeah, I just, I'm just trying to finish with with Apple. Okay, and no, no problem. Mustafa. Go, go ahead, <laughs> Efrain. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Yeah, well, my question was, you have been trying to, we have trying to prove that. Um, Apple have been always innovating, but Samsung, what proof do you have that Samsung have done the same? Look, you've got all our prototypes, you've got all these documents, so it's up to you to decide whether we stole these products from Apple or not, because the only our proof is our prototypes, how they are different from Apple products, that's all. Okay. Mr. Mustafa, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, Apple. We know that Apple have been always always innovating. So, do you yes. have any proof that Samsung maybe robbed or your prototypes for this last launching of this spectacular mobile phone? Uh, you know, and everybody know the smartphone. Uh, invented from Apple uh, and appear on the market before Samsung. It's invented before I think five years. So Apple have the technology and Samsung uh, do like Apple's but don't have the technology. So I think Apple is best. Why you, you say that it? Apple is best in the court, man? You gotta be no, kidding. No, Samsung always copies. Okay, the Mr. Redman, Mr. Redman, please, Mr. Redman, I just okay give you the word a few minutes ago. Please, it's a chance for Mr. Mustafa to defend himself. I'm sorry, okay? Your Honor. Okay, thank you, um, Mustafa. Um, as you know, why do you didn't launch the mobile the prototype? As you, I don't know. As you, as you know, Samsung. He was really, really ahead with you guys, and you, they just launched the prototype, and it became a success. Why did you do? Or my, why you didn't launch the prototype, and you maybe last a long time for launching it? Uh, launched it. Yes, launched. Launched what launched mean? To put it in the market. Oh, okay. Like a like a product launch. Yes, like Good. a product launch. Mm, I think that's not true. Uh, if you see, there are many factors affect on the market, uh, like the mark of the device and the price of the device and the technology. I think uh, Apple always, you know, Apple uh, released iPad in market in, I think, before three years, and there are no iPad in the market. Okay. And some okay. But you okay. just told me you just told me that you had the prototype about five years ago, and it's yeah. not possible having the prototype five years ago. You're gonna launch it, I don't know, after five years, and um, that's something I don't know. That's a match here. So please um, think your answer and tell me why you didn't launch the prototype and you left five years to launch it, because it's not possible after five years. And as soon as Samsung just launched the prototype, you just try away saying, okay, they just took my prototype and they did it first. Mm. I don't understand the question very good. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is just, you just told me that you had the prototype five years ago, okay? But uh, three years uh, ago. Yes, yeah. But I do not yes. understand why 
having you this prototype for a long time you took a long time for release the product as Samsung what they did was just launch it and as soon as soon as Samsung launched it you just came and said okay this company uh, took my prototype and it was my prototype and they robbed it okay uh uh, if you know in a company there are a department research and we always check every devices in our company and if I launch prototype or iPad before other company what's what's uh, how I can say that um, um, uh, Mm, I don't maybe know what you're struggling I with Mustafa. Hmm. What are you What are you studying? Like maybe there's a coincidence or something, or uh, like uh, if you if you release something in the market, there are sure something feedback to you. So how like I can say that? Corporate English. espionage. So you're accusing <laughs> Samsung of corporate espionage. Yes. Yes. Like that. Okay. Yes. So that's what he's doing, Efrain. He's uh he's accusing them of corporate espionage, so similar yes. to you know es you know, you know espionage, similar to what you see um, with countries. Okay, go, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Sorry, okay. Yeah, okay. but um I think that's not enough proof. I mean, that that answer actually doesn't say anything about the time you took for launching the product, Mr. Mustafa. I mean. As we know, Apple every single year is innovating. Every single year, they are taking time for launching new products. So I cannot believe that you having you had this prototype for five years and you took that those all time for launching it. So that is something that it doesn't match here. Mm, we need time in Apple. Uh, I don't know how to explain to you. But you, got, you, got, you guys got to wrap it up quick, okay? You guys have another. Uh, give you two okay. minutes, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna be, um, Mr. Um, Paul. Are you there? Yeah, I am. Okay. I will have. One, I will give you one minute to you and one minute to Mr. Mustafa to defend your opinion. Okay. So, Mr. Paul, go ahead and defend your head defend yourself and you have one minute for doing it. I don't need to defend myself because he has no proofs that we stole his prototype. We didn't and everyone in this room includes you know it because you've got our prototypes, you've got all our drawings and we came up with this idea first. So he can just say hey Samsung stole it because He's an apple. No way, man. Uh, uh, can I talk? No, you can't. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mustafa, Mr. Paul, is that is that all? Are you finished? Yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> okay, Mr. Mustafa, go ahead, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Mr. Paul, I didn't say uh, Samsung stolen the technology, but I say Samsung copy the technology. What the uh, difference? Uh, there are differences. If I, if I release a product to the market, uh, you can buy my devices and can say my device and can so copy the technology, but not at the same equality. For uh, so for that, Apple's is more quality for Samsung. And if you notice, there are many, many, many bad things in Samsung devices, and Apple avoided this thing. Uh, uh, one of the things, uh, Samsung devices, uh, if the weather is hit, the device does not work good, um, and there are many other. Uh, problems so uh, Samsung 
copy the technology but can't copy anything or all things in the technology. We're not talking about which phone is best. You're saying it without any proof. The only, the only evidence is your word. Okay, that's all. <laughs> you got nothing. Okay, <laughs> okay. Case, case okay. closed, okay. case closed, yourself. guys. <laughs> so, okay. okay guys. So, case closed. Okay, so, Mr. So, Mr. I'm sorry. No, no, it's it's okay, Efrain. Good good job, good job. Okay, I'm so... I'm just going to say the verdict. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're we're gonna, we're gonna let everybody else uh, figure out the verdict. Okay. So, uh, so Mo, uh, Mo Mo Safi, what do you think, Apple or Samsung? Samsung. <laughs> Samsung, Samsung. Okay. Okay, Jose, yes, okay. Apple or Samsung? Because, because, because uh, in the reality is uh, Apple, but uh, in uh, this case. I think uh, Samsung uh, win. Okay, there's one. Yep. Okay, Jose, which one? I think all one. Samsung. Okay, so Samsung. Jane. Sorry. Jane. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, so which one was it? Samsung or Apple? The one that. Samsung. Samsung, okay, and uh, Fatima, do you, do you understand what's going on here, Fatima? Are you there? Hello, Fatima. You said had some problems. Okay, so is your microphone working, uh, Fatima? Okay, all right. Hello, okay, well, somebody's gone. All right, wow, boy, is this class difficult for people or just not enjoying it? Okay, so it looks like a Samsung one. All right, so Jane, now you have to defend yourself. What are you <laughs> going to defend yourself against? What did, what did you do wrong, Jane? Oh, God, I, I, I had the option. <laughs> I don't know. So can somebody pick a, uh, pick a scandal for Jane? Does anybody have an idea? <laughs> okay, what, what, uh, what scandal has Jane been involved in? I already know. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mustafa, I could kill it. I could kill it. Okay. Which which one? Reckless killing. What? Reckless. <laughs> yeah. No, let's, let's not have let's not have a murder. <laughs> let's uh <laughs> let's choose uh well let me just see here uh, top scandals. She got it in her lamp when she was a child. Uh huh. Yep. I cooked something. That. You cooked yeah, mm -hmm. something good, but someone... But it killed 10 people? Okay, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, Jane, someone you're you're a famous died. chef. You're a famous <laughs> chef, and you, uh, yep, you, cooked a, you cooked a dish, okay? And okay. You, you thought it was really good, and 12 people died, okay? Whoa. Okay. Okay, yeah, so, including Jose's dog, so he's a little mad, <laughs> all right? So, uh, so, okay, Jane, so let's see. Um, Jose, can you be the judge? Okay. All right. And uh, Mua, Mua. Yes. Am I pronouncing your, Am I pronouncing your name properly? Is it Mua? Am I always saying your name properly? Is it Is it Mua? Uh, what name, uh, teacher? You, I don't understand. You, no, it's okay. And what is your name? How do I pronounce your name properly? How do I say your name properly? See, it's not my name, Moa. I I know, so that I'm I'm dumb. Okay, so please tell me what your name is. Okay? Abdu, A B. Abdu. Okay. Yes. Okay, so so Abdu, please notice that when I look at your name, based upon uh, your G plus account. It comes up Mua, Mua, okay? Yes. All right, so so please change it to Abdu. <laughs> That's why I keep calling you Mua, okay? No problem. All right, it makes sense. No problem, okay. no problem. So Abdu, okay. So hello, Alan. Okay, so Abdu, you're, um, you're one of the family members of somebody that's deceased because of Jane's cooking, okay? And you want to you want to find out what exactly she put in the meal, what exactly she did to cause all these people to die, okay? And Jose's the judge, 
So he's going to be the one who's taking care of everything. I, You're going to be the one asking questions. Me. Yeah, no, don't you source me, okay? So, Mua, you're going to be there. Uh, again, Jose is going to be the judge that handles all of the uh, conversations back and forth. And you're just going to be asking Jane what it is that she put in her meat, okay? What she put uh, who is the, the judge? Who is the judge? Oh, that's Judge Jose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Jose, go ahead and start, out, start it out, okay? Go ahead. Okay. Good morning, everybody. We're going to read here to find out if Jane is guilty or not guilty of killing 10 people and 12, 12 people, oh my god, okay, 12 <laughs> people and uh, so Mr. Appearity, please, Mo. okay, Mr. Yes, Mo. yes, I hear you, yeah. yes, I hear you yes, could you start please? Yes. Your interrogation. Oh God. So, uh, Jane, in yes. the last week, you cook dinner for for eight person, and they die. Twelve. What, what did you Twelve. cook exactly? What did you cook? Uh, Mr. Mo, it's about yeah. ten died I... people. Twelve. I did a very famous dish that I made up and which which has some mushrooms but it wasn't the kind of mushrooms that is poison it's mushroom good for for eating so I didn't know what what happened because I've been doing this this dish for years and this kind of stuff never never happened and I think it's a kind of plot plan there there is some cons conspiracy against me please Mr. Uh, Judge there are eight person died and he cook dinner and there is something wrong in this in this uh, with this, this dish. dinner in this dish there is something wrong and I want to know what is it please Jane tell me <laughs> what did you do? there is something wrong and you must tell us. No, the <laughs> sorry. <laughs> are you okay, Jane? <laughs> I can't stop like because are you, are, you, are, you, are you are you eating some of your mushrooms? <laughs> no. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm fine. It's okay. So and by 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 the way, Mua, make sure make sure that you're um. Make sure you're asking the right questions. So you can't just ask her, what did you put in, what did you put in, what did you put in. Ask her questions like, um, you know, how many people have you killed before with your food? Um, you know, where do you get your mushrooms? Just just everything else. Go ahead, guys. Uh, so, teacher, please, I, I don't hear you uh, well. This, it's, it's this, okay. plate, this plate I made up is called Magic Mushrooms, but... <laughs> <laughs> are, you, uh, are you laughing uh, or crying? <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, stop crying, please. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. Okay, continue, Mr. Mo, please. I have eight clients die, Mr. Judge, and Jake is the is the cause. Of her, of a, of the diet of this eight person, and and I know if if uh, she she cook, please, please. <laughs> are are you are are you cook something wrong in the past? You no. Kill people. No. <laughs> no, I never did. Never. I just never. So just that's the first time. That's I, the I, first time. I received, 
I received many, many awards to my sign recipes, you know, so I'm very, I'm very famous chef. It in, in never wrong happened before. So it was the first time. I, I think it, there is another chef, he doesn't like me because he is not as good as me. So I, I think it's kind of a conspira conspiracy plan of him. And he, he did something with my food and this, this, this accident happened. It's not my fault. But but you but is your restaurant and the responsibility is uh, on your head? Yeah, it's and my, I'm I'm the head of the restaurant, but he he wants to my my comp competitor want to ruin my restaurant. So I think he 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 went there and poisoned my food, my famous. Dish. Uh, but, but the worker, the please teacher help me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm just oh, looking at different okay. mushrooms that Jane could have fed you. So no, so no, you want to? You need? You need to ask questions. It's okay. Let's um, yeah, let's get on to one more case. Okay. So I know that one didn't I last too long. So. It's it's okay. It's okay. So uh, so Paul, um, did Jane uh, did Jane kill him or or was it a uh, conspiracy? Yeah, you know Jane, you're a good girl, but it was really poor effort. You're guilty, a hundred percent. Okay, Mustafa. Mm, I think it's Jane. You think it's Jane? Okay. All right. Um, Ephraim, Jane. Efrain? Efrain, are you eating mushrooms? <laughs> <I'm> eating <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I was eating like happy mushroom. I was quite high. No, I'm just joking. Um. <laughs> well, you just remember in Amsterdam they have a warning only eat one box. So anyway. But um so uh so uh is she busted or what? Yeah. She pretty much did, yeah, she did it. She did it. Hello, um, I'm I'm sorry. Uh Paulo, Joe Apollo. Hello, uh am I saying his name right? Uh Jane. Is yeah, he also from Brazil? Yeah. Hey Joe, how are, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good, good. Welcome welcome to class. We have one more case. So do you know what's going on? Do you know what we're doing here, Joa? No, no. Uh, all right. Yeah, so no problem. I'll tell you what, just, just hang out for this class, okay? Just hang out and watch the action, okay? All right? So good to good to see you, Joa. But uh, but next time, uh, just try to join a little earlier because we have just time for one more case, okay? But nice to meet you, okay? Okay, and let's see here. So, wow, two Joas in a row. How in the heck did I do this? So, uh, Joa Victor. Hello, Joe Victor. Hey there. Hey, how are you doing? I'm so good, thanks. And you? Okay, good. Doing well. Did you see what's going on in this class where we're um, we're having to defend different scandals? Yeah. Do you see that? Okay. So, do you want to defend yourself against a scandal? Maybe. Maybe okay. All right. So somebody pick out a scandal for Joa. Um, okay. let me see. Uh, and anybody? Yes. What's what's the <laughs> scandal that Joa did? What's Joa's latest? The latest is there was um a girl. She was participating in Miss Universe. And they said she was a victim from the from the uh, from the page, and because she was pregnant. Okay. What a drama. Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> I love that. I love. I love that laugh. <laughs> Friend, that was good. That was good. So hey, um, Joa, you're pregnant. You're um, 
you got a you uh you got taken out of Miss Universe, okay? Because you were pregnant. All right? But you're going to defend it telling, "Oh my gosh, what is wrong with Google? God, how do they come up with some of these some of these images? It's crazy." Okay? So, um Joa, you're going to have to defend yourself, okay? Because you're getting kicked out of the Miss Universe pageant. You're not quite kicked out yet for being pregnant, okay? Hello, Joa. Hello. Okay. Hi. Okay. So, and um, let's see here. So, let's Joa see. Joa is pregnant? Yeah, Joa is pregnant. Oh, um, my. This, this time, Mustafa is going to be the judge. All right. <laughs> Let okay, me search so you, on Google. Okay. No, no, no. It's, it's it's pretty simple. We only have a few minutes. Okay. So you know Miss Universe. Do you know what the Miss Universe contest is? What? It's, it's okay. The Miss Universe contest. Do you know what that is? Oh, I can't type. Mm. Okay. That's where every TV. year, every year they crown Miss Universe. Okay, it's the biggest beauty pageant uh, in the world. Okay. 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 So you have to defend yourself. Uh, Mustafa is the judge. All right. And let's see. Yeah, Jane was this in this last one. And yeah. So Paul. Okay. So Paul, you're you're the one who's trying to kick out Miss Universe, Joa. Okay. Oh, right. I, I thought you want me to be a Miss Universe. No, 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 no. So, so Joe is the only Miss Universe. Jose, you're the judge, and uh, Moa. Um, no, everything's good, Moa. So, so you won the case. Jane lost when you left. Okay, okay. So go ahead, Paul. Go I'm ahead sorry, Brett. Uh, what I supposed to do? I'm just a little bit confused. Yeah, no, no. So you're one of the you're one of the people who's running the Miss Universe pageant. Okay, and the problem is, you guys, you guys. Yeah, you guys suspect that Joa is pregnant. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. So you're going to be questioning Joa about uh, her pregnancy. Okay. And yeah, Jane, you are Jane. Okay. So so go ahead, guys. We only have a few more minutes left, and Mustafa is the judge. All right. But okay, what should guys. Do? What should you do? You ain't figured it out yet. So you're the one that just has to make sure that you facilitate the questioning. Okay. I'm just kidding, Mustafa. But facilitate <laughs> the questioning, right? Okay. Oh, the gel is run away. <laughs> okay, Jane, take over. You're the pregnant Miss Universe uh, pageant member, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead, Paul. You're doing the questioning. Mustafa, okay, you're the judge. Okay, Miss Castor, is it real that you are pregnant? Yeah, that's real. No, no, you're just <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you're not, you're supposed to hide <laughs> Go away. <laughs> no, you're supposed to hide it, Jane. Okay? Go 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 ahead, guys. Okay. Twice. <laughs> so no okay, you so, aren't. So, do you have ultrasound uh, results to prove that you're not to prove to prove I'm not no. So you don't have any evidence that you're not pregnant, you just deny it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not pregnant. Okay, Your Honor, I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty clear. Your Stop. Honor, where are you? <laughs> mm. So what I should ask, I should ask Jane or Paul or <laughs> I yeah, just so misstand um, my job. Yeah, just just go ahead and ask them about you know. Just ask Jane. Well, Jane, you know, how do you know that you're not pregnant then if you don't have any test results? Okay, just just ask her yeah. to give some results. And Jane, you should be faking results. Come on. Okay, it's only a court case. Go ahead. Jane, hi Jane, how are you? Sorry. Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi. How are yeah, you? Honor. Your Honor, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not supposed to ask him how are you. It's a court, you know. We're not on the, in the middle of the conversation. 
So please be precise in your questions, okay? Okay, then how you know you are not brilliant? Brilliant, brilliant. How how I know I'm not pregnant? That yes, yes. Do you do some tests? How do you know? Yeah, because I went to the doctor and I talked to him, and he said I'm okay. Um, there's okay, nothing, where is the doctor? Happened. Where is the doctor? I want to see him, I want to ask him some questions because I'm not sure that he is the doctor to to trust to. You okay, have some Efrain, from the doctor. Efrain, walk in, you're the doctor, okay? Okay. Hi, doctor. Oh, so, so doctor, doctor, you, you okay, told me. You told Do you me have ultrasound results? Okay, Mr. Paul, I just said to my client that she had only a bad stomach that was it she has some kind of um, stomach uh, I mean stomach problems and she's fine I mean I never said she was pregnant okay do you have ultrasound results I do have the results and I do have everything you need for proof that she's not pregnant I mean Okay, so please give one copy to me and then another one another copy to the to the judge. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Um, here is the result, proving that she had some stomach problems and well. Okay, how bad it. are these stomach problems? I, I had stomach so, problems I know, because I, I ate mushrooms. I <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're telling me that she's pregnant. Um, how do you know that? How do I know? I'm just asking. Yeah. I because mean, you, we have you, some. Are you? I'm sorry. I'm just a doctor. I'm, I forgot that. Um, I will have. I will give you the results. Okay. So here's the results. So, Your Honor, what do you think about it? And Doc, how bad is the problem with the stomach? Can she? Proceed their activity, her activity in our Miss Universe. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the only person who might suffer with that would be her roommate because of the stomach problem. But there is not other problem at all. I'm sure we can continue with a patient with, without no problem at all. She yeah, will receive. Look your honor, your honor, I'm feeling sick. I I need to leave. I'm feeling very sick. Okay, um, this is the violation of our treaty. So, Jane, I'm sorry, we have to pass. <gasps>